to all the darlings of the land. Welcome, my friends, to Cauldron's Way. Cauldron's Way is a one-bedroom, very magical-influenced house in the world of Granite Falls. It's on a 30 by 20 lot, so you would, if you wanted to have this lot in this particular place, you would have to have this as a vacation home without mods, but you could easily place this in any 30 by 20 throughout the land. Um, the choice is yours. Obviously, this is heavily, heavily inspired by the new game pack that we have coming out in this month. Oh, no, in September, sorry. Uh, Realm of Magic. And I just got really inspired from it. And I was like, I need to create something very fantasy-esque. And this is what I managed to come up with. So I hope you guys like it. Now, the, bedroom, the house is only a one-bedroom house. You could make it into a bigger... Uh, you could have more bedrooms if you want. You could convert the rooms that I have already made into bedrooms. But in my head, the witch that I had moving into this lot, I only wanted it to be a single bedroom. It's actually two bedrooms because I have made a bedroom for a cat. <laughs> because I'm that type of bitch. <laughs> so yeah, I've made a bedroom for a cat. Welcome to my life. Uh, they actually... The, cat's bedroom is actually housed in one of the turrets <laughs> so the cat is bougie as fuck and doesn't take shit from nobody so if you wish to download this it will be on the gallery it is completely cc free and i haven't even approached on the subject that this is a speed build yes that is correct i haven't bought a speed build out on my channel for quite some time um main reasons being i was having lots of fun doing the let's build my new chris series uh, but I, to be honest, I'm really missing speed building. I am. I'm missing the editing process. I'm missing everything that goes with the speed builds. Um, getting a finished lot out there and making the video tours and stuff. So I really, really wanted to do one. And this is what I have done. Now, don't worry. I still will be doing Let's Builds. As I've always said, they will be the focus of the channel. But I definitely need to bring out some more speed builds. So do excuse me if this week that Let's Build New Crest doesn't come to your screens. But it will be returning next week. And I will be pre-recording next week for when I do go away on holiday. So I will pre-record some more Let's Builds. And maybe another speed build if I can get that into. Um, which I will be able to. I'm going to. I'm going to do it. I've said it now. I'm going to get a speed build out as well. So keep an eye on my channel in the next coming weeks. But... Yeah, I had lots of fun doing this lot. It was very time consuming. It took me probably about 10 hours to build this particular lot. Um, main reasons being I stuff this place with detail. Like so much detail it is untrue. Um, and I had to play a test this lot quite a bit. And there were a few things that were a bit janky and weren't working properly. But everything is now completely fixed and ready to go. And the download link, I will start, I'll be doing this on my um, speed builds from now on. I will put the download link down in the description box below. So if you do want to just stick this straight into your game, if you haven't got a cracked version of The Sims 4 that is, then go ahead and grab it from the gallery because it is on there. It is on there. But yeah, I, as I was saying, I had a bit of trouble kind of sort of getting this place to work the sim wasn't walking on one of the balcony areas and one of the sofas disappeared for some reason um which i had to put back in and um, there were missing roof tiles it was a bit janky but when you do something as when you build something as kind of jangled and complex as this was you usually find that sometimes the sims do tend to yeah, screw up a little bit and not be able to get into areas. But I fix it. It's okay. It's on the gallery. It's completely working. And yeah, I'll tell you what it actually consists of. So it's got a nice living area with a fireplace, a big hallway with a kitchen downstairs as well, which leads out onto a balcony where the dining room table is, which is covered as well. So your Sims could get out there in any weather. And there is obviously the one bedroom. Uh, the There is also a kind of spell room where... I would imagine that once the new pack comes out, the sim could go up there and practice their spells or whatnot. 
Um, I'm saying a witch's house. It could be a wizard's house if you wish. I'm not sexist. Um, the, the choice is yours. I will leave that completely up to you. But there's also a seance room where I would imagine the sim could, like, I don't know, pray to their, their witch gods. <laughs> you can see I'm not well versed on this kind of thing, um, apart from Harry Potter. Um, but... And what else is there? Obviously the cat's bedroom as well. And then there's loads of balcony space on the edges on the outside where the sim grows all of her own herbs. And also right on the ground floor, right at the bottom, there is a kind of lake-esque pond with a bridge that goes over it with a little boat and stuff in it as well. And landscaping for the gods. Seriously, there is a the amount of landscaping that I did on this lot. Probably one of the most I've ever done with landscaping, but I had so much fun playing around with it. I was heavily inspired by a lot of Ghibli um, animations like Spirited Away, etc. Uh, main reasons being that the colour palette that I chose, I kind of looked at a lot of their illustrations and kind of picked out a few of their colours that they like to use, like the peachy orange sort of colours and the rich greens and yellows. And I wanted to coincide that with this lot in particular. Now, I was actually going to call this lot the Ghibli, but... In the end, I didn't. I didn't. I was like, mm, maybe I'll get copyright strike for that. So let's call it Cauldron's Way instead. And that's what we went for. Now, I do play around a lot with the um, colours of this particular lot, like the banister and stuff and the uh, everything which just wasn't working in the beginning. I know I wanted to use like orangey tones with greens and stuff, but in the beginning, it just wasn't working properly. And I was like, why the hell are you not working? Um... But in the end, it was fixed. I managed to come up with some good colour palettes in my eyes. And I'd used a lot of the wallpapers from Island Living. And I think, where was that stone from? I can't remember where that stone's from, where we're seeing now. I can't remember. The one on the turrets. It's, for, it's from a pack. It's from a pack. You'd be glad to know. Now, I was heavily pissed off. We're going to go into a tangent now. Um... As you, as you guys know, if you do watch my Let's Builds, I've been having trouble with the fact that my lots were showing up like they had CC on them. And I could not, for the life of me, find the CC that was causing the issue. So, sadly, I had to delete my whole CC folder and start from scratch. So, there is no CC in my game at the minute, apart from the free cam. Uh, or it's a mod, but the free cam mod in build mode, which is done by Twisted Mexi, an amazing, amazing piece of custom con and um, amazing, amazing mod. If you guys haven't used it, it allows you to go into tab mode and build in the build mode. I don't understand why that is not implemented in the game. I would love them to put that in the game. Um, but yeah, so I was really annoyed. Um, it's kind of most of my speed builds, and if not, yeah, most of them are completely CC free. But when I do tend to do my let's builds, especially with houses, not so much community lots, I do like to use a little bit of CC here and there. Main reasons being, I just prefer some of the CC to the in-game objects, uh, especially windows and sort of kitchen counters and sort of like living room and bedroom stuff. Like, I just prefer the way that that looks. But that being said... I'm going to try and do my let's build now going completely CC free, which is very scary. It, but I just, I don't know. I just think it would be, I think it would be cool to go down that route. You guys will have to let me know what you think, what you think about it. Now, the layout of this particular lot was a bit hard to, I, I usually got a, in my head when I am building, when I'm putting the in exterior structure down, I usually go about it thinking right that can go there the kitchen can go there so i'll leave enough room for that but with this here i just wanted the aesthetic of the outside to come through first and then go to the inside and think shit where do we put everything <laughs> so that is what happened with this lot but it kind of worked itself out the the bedroom is a little bit slim but i only put a single bed in there anyway and it kind of gives this kind of cozy vibe inside the bedroom but you'll see that a bit further on because I did record most of the interior, you'd be pleased to know. Apart from the office, there is an office downstairs. I don't think I mentioned that. And I don't think that I record the bathrooms. I think I record one of the bathrooms. I could be wrong, but we'll find out in a second together. Yes. Um, I am off to the cinema this evening. I'm going to watch 
scary scary stories to tell in the dark. Um, I remember reading all those stories when I was younger and being completely petrified by them. So I am off to the cinema tonight, late night, to go and shit myself with my partner. That sounds weird. Um, and watch this film. Is there, is there anybody out there that has watched it yet? And would you recommend it? Um, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. Um, this is annoying. I hate... Well, we've gone past it now, but underneath the foundations i would love to be able to i wish there was a way that once you get the foundation up onto stilts that the terrain underneath allowed you to put stuff on it like i can't bear the fact that you just have this awful earth looking sort of terrain and not being able to put anything on it and i try and hide it as best as possible but um yeah i wish that was the thing i wish that was the thing i actually tweeted out yesterday um, I'll get the tweet up now because I'd love to hear some from you guys in the comments. Let's have a little look. Right, so I tweeted out, Builders, if you could have two things in the build mode that you would feel would be game changing, what would they be? I'd be interested to know what you guys would want in the build mode below. And only two things, like I specifically put two things in my tweet thinking, oh, this would be cool. This will show people's most wanted things but people were still tweeting at me with like endless lists of stuff and I was like bitch I only said two things <laughs> um so down below in the comment box only two things what would you love most in the build mode menu um that you feel would be game changing and for me my personal ones was spiral staircases and also being able to paint the ceilings and under the roof, like, and the actual roof sort of lines. Like, I hate doing this great speed build, making all these fancy roof structures, and then going to take a screenshot and you just see these ugly white sort of panels underneath. It was really, really, really fucking difficult to take a picture of this particular lot. It took ages because it was just, you can see it now, it was showing off the white sort of, like, flooring underneath of it and I am not about that life I was not about that life and it like when you it would be it would even be like with the island living roof textures they actually come on the other side as well now I would be happy if it did that with the all the other textures as well there was a bug in the game that allowed you to do that for a little short while and oh my god it was so good and they took it out I don't I don't understand why they took it out especially when there were hundreds of people tweeting at them telling them not to myself included um so yeah guys down below let me know I'll read out some interesting ones that I got off of Twitter from you guys um I really really loved some of them uh where was that one that I was really interested in um, this is from Lareen, or Lareen. She's also a game changer. She put definitely multiple lot types in one lot. So having like a 64 by 64 small town lot, but then being able to change the houses into like actual, like a restaurant or that, I think that would be cool. Do you know what I mean? I think that's really cool. So Lareen, that's a really, really good, um, yeah, a really, really good choice there. Um, this is from... Shayzilla, um, who's a, fella, a Twitch streamer as well, a lovely lady. Um, she put full custom swatches for objects like in The Sims 3. I absolutely love that idea. And also a way to organise and categorise everything yourself, like folders. Like, I loved doing that as well in The Sims 3. I thought that was so good. I think that would be great for The Sims 4, main reasons being a lot of the build mode and buy mode does not make sense for me because of where things are placed and whatnot. I just don't get it. Don't, do not get it. Like, washing machines in recreation? No. Stop that. I do not wash my clothes for fun. I wash my clothes out of necessity. But the interesting thing is, with that question on Twitter, is the fact that everybody was going on about stairs. So stairs are just so massively important. But I don't think I've ever seen any of the Sim Gurus. I could be wrong on this. But I don't think I've ever seen any of the Sim Gurus or developers actually bro like breach on the subject of it. I uh, I could be wrong. You guys out there can prove me wrong if you wish. But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. Don't think I've ever seen that. Now with the build at night, I did want to have this real sort of fantasy esque magical glow about the place. So I used these candles from Dine Out, and I actually raised them up with the nine key and put them on the trees, and it just looks so pretty at night. It looks so pretty and magical. I love it. I use a lot of things from 
the debug menu in this the bridge included now your sims can't walk across the bridge sadly and um, in fact they don't even realize it's there they just swim right through it and kind of my sim actually got out on the edge there and actually just got <laughs> walked through the bridge line but ah, oh, sad times sad times anyway i'll read out a few more now a lot of people wanted curved walls now this one would probably be very hard to implement in the sims 4 because of the polygons i don't think curved walls will ever be a thing and it's not one of my most wanted things for me main reasons being having a curved wall what the hell are you going to do with a roof what are you going to put on top of that like with the roofs as they are at the minute yeah we do have a circular roof but i don't think that the circular roof would i don't know i don't think it would work very well on a circular wall because not a lot of the roofs anyway work well on any kind of angular air structure in my eyes including the octagonal and hexagonal like roofs i find them quite difficult to use very very difficult to use um deletable fact this is from joshua so Ill illogical simmer an amazing cc creator i've introduced you guys to that cc in my cc shopping video put deletable foundations and deletable roof walls like in the sims 3 i would love that as well josh like that is one of my definite wants and needs i would definitely say so but loads of people have just said about like the most thing that people breach on is stairs stairs are so important i mean this lot here would be have been completely different with spiral staircases now yeah l shape all the other staircases would be great as well but for me i think spiral staircases would be game changing because the build you could actually implement and build for spiral staircase and the small kind of foot space you could make because you could even put a spiral staircase on the outside of a tower and just have you know, do you know what i mean it, it would just be game changing and we need it and five years later and we haven't got it personally and this is really sad to admit i don't think we ever will in the sims 4 i think it's going to be something they'll probably bring to the sims 5 which is really frustrating really frustrating from a builder's point of view really really frustrating but yeah i just love some of these questions i had a whole lot of questions um i had a whole lot of answers sorry on that tweet i mean it got nearly 500 likes and it's got 138 comments so i uh, i had a good time i'll link the tweet below if you guys want to go ahead and have a little look at it um but yeah very very nice very nice indeed i hope you guys uh enjoy looking through it enjoy looking through it um so yeah most of this build is kind of getting done now you can see i'm getting most of the detail in on the outside i did put a little sun lounger up on this top balcony area here i just thought that would be cute for a witch to come out and catch some vitamin d inside of their bones now one of the things with this sort of the front of the house i got these like hanging baskets from debug and as great as they look as soon as you zoom out the flowers disappear <laughs> i don't know if you guys ever noticed that in the video tour at the beginning it was a little bit strange it was a little bit strange and it's a bit annoying but <sighs> it's something that I'm, I'm overlooking just because i have to <laughs> just because i have to now i made sure that with these balconies there are as many activities as possible so i put some bee boxes on the outside lots and lots of plant boxes as well so your sims can come and grow whatever they may wish um and also just areas for your sim to sit down and have a nice time <laughs> oh god i'm failing at this voiceover but as I usually do, I'm just going to carry on. Um, this is the living area. Now, I did auto like pull out everything already from the living area and get everything mapped out properly. So this is just me placing everything. Uh, but you will see more of that when it comes into the video tour at the end anyway. But with everything else, I kind of go through and just get everything mapped out properly. Uh, and I really enjoyed doing the little kitchen area. And I made a little Genkan. Is it a Genkan? Where you take your shoes off? I can't remember. One of you lovely Japanese viewers may tell me or anybody with any kind of knowledge on it is it again can I'm sure it is uh I really wanted that to be implemented into this build because as I said I was very heavily inspired by Ghibli um and the color tones the blues the oranges and the wicker like walls on the inside I didn't want to go kind of medieval-esque with the kind of witchy vibe I wanted this whole different whole different thing and this is what i kind of came up with and i love it i absolutely love it i loved building this lot as well so do expect some more 
fantasy-esque builds coming uh, to the channel in the very near future. Very near future. But I am so tired at the minute. I've, I don't know, this year has just been absolutely exhausting. <laughs> so I am completely looking forward to going away on holiday um, on the 7th. On the 7th, I'm going to go to the Mediterranean. Not sure where yet. I haven't even booked it. <laughs> it's like nearly a week to go. But somewhere where it's hot, somewhere Spanish, I know that much. And yeah, I'm just going to lie on the beach and read books. That's all I want to do and eat good food and drink lots of alcohol. And that is where it's going to go. And if you wish to follow that adventure, you can always follow me down on my Instagram below. Shameless plug. Shameless? Shameless self Shameless self plug? Is that what it is? It is now. Anyway, <laughs> this is the kitchen. <laughs> I loved how this kitchen came together. I really loved the sort of shaker style kitchen with this green that I never usually use because I really dislike the color of the tops with certain kitchens. But with this one in particular, because of the terracotta flooring and the color of the walls and stuff, I found that it fit in very well. And everything works in here. I play tested this room first just to make sure. And yeah, it's all good. It's all good. And places for the kitty to have their food and stuff. And the kit, when I was player testing it, the cat just kept getting up on the counters and I, I was shouting at it multiple times and the cat started to hate me, um, which was sad. And I don't know why I put that on the wall. I'm just looking. It's like a room, like dehumidifier or something. <laughs> I was just like, I've never seen that before. Let's put it here. <laughs> and we did. But this is the bedroom that I was telling you about. So in the bedroom, I do these shelves and put all of these crystals up that this witch collects and energizes in the moonlight and whatnot. I just thought that was really cool. And I put them in the bedroom next to this tiny little four poster single bed. I thought it was really cool. Now, I would have preferred the frame of the bed to be in wood, but mm, it doesn't. And I just had to go ahead and use it that way. Now, these books that I'm putting on top of this stool here, they do float, but they're magic. So we're going to go past that and just pretend that they don't. And this area over here, I love this little, excuse me, I love this little area of the bedroom, um, especially with the turret because it's got that, it's got, I'm going to put a little bay window kind of window seat in there in a minute. And I don't know, I just thought, thought it was really cute. I've got, please don't get hiccups, Aiden, right at the end of your voiceover because that will be awful. And will I edit that out and re-record it? Absolutely not. Let me see if I... No, nope, the hiccups are gone. We're good. We can carry on. But yeah, I love this little area here. I just think it's really cute. Really, really cute. And I think it just fits in well with this room and makes the flow through quite nice, especially it being such a small little area to kind of, yeah, furnish. I just love it. It's really cute. By the way, the flooring is from Island Living. It's that kind of distressed looking wooden flooring and I'm all about it. Now, this is the uh, spell casting room. I do have to move things around slightly to be able to fit in what I wanted. Um, but it's really cool. There isn't much gameplay in here. What I was thinking is when I uh, when Realm of Magic does come out, you could put clear this room out and put all the stuff in here that you could use to spell, like cast your spells and stuff. But I was going to put the flower arranging place in here, but I was like, no, it just doesn't fit. So in the end, I go for a desk um, and... I've actually moved the desk around and put it in a different area. It's a bit difficult with this as well, because as I said, once I've, I usually build and make sure I know where the room's going and what, where things are going to be, et cetera, et cetera. But with this lot, I didn't, I put all the windows in as well. So it was difficult then coming to furnish it because like putting the furnishings on top of windows and stuff, it just wasn't, it just wasn't happening. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing with all of these, uh, potions and stuff. I actually pull all of these potions out of debug and yeah, I love them. And a few of them did disappear. I don't know why they disappeared, but they did disappear and I'm not going to go back in and put them down. <laughs> you guys can do that when you come and download the slot. As always, make sure you've got the move objects on cheat with this particular lot because there are so many things that I have used with move, and that goes for all of my builds. I'm going to keep reiterating that just so people know they need to use move objects for all of my builds. Okay, thank you very much. I, in fact, I didn't, oh no, I did record the cat room. Here we are. This is the cat's bedroom. So it was weird to try and fit as much as I could in this lot, 
um, in this room because of the shape of it and stuff and what I wanted to go in there. But we do a cat tower, a cat bed and a cat litter tray and a little scratch and post as well for the cat to scratch his little claws on. And it's cute. Now, this is the kind of worship room where the Sim comes to their altar and worships their witchy gods. Uh, it is actually double story height as well. So it's got this big candelabra at the top just to, yeah, for extra, extra witchy effects. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this speed build. I really hope you like it. Um, don't forget to answer the question that I said in the comment box below. I'll be really interested to hear what you guys have to say. But other than that, I'm going to leave you here and you're going to go and watch the video tour. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.